Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. the 37-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. They run it left. Defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. That makes it second and 14. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 33-yard line. Scrambling around, and they got it. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. What are you doing? From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. Scooped up by the offense, and down he goes around the 19-yard line. Yep, and this is why you need to know where the ball is at all times. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Gets to about the 47-yard line. The Horned Frogs offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I've really recognized is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 46-yard line, second down. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. Running back picked up about eight on the draw. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. Six. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. Fires it out. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. Excellent punt. He's tackled at the 35. Oh, 
This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Four down, four down. Like seven. Check, seven. check, check. Regular, regular, regular. Motion, motion. a loss of four yards. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They've read it from the get-go. From their own 31-yard line, it's third down. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Good possession there for the defense. It's away and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. He makes his way to about the 48. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. They'll bring him down around the 39 yard line. Quick pass. the middle for a nice run. And he's taken down around the 26-yard line. That brings up second and one. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Under pressure. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Brought down around the 10 yard line. Loss of one there for the halfback. And he's tackled at the one yard line. Call it a game of two yards. That brings us fourth and goal. Larry, Larry. Watch 36. 36. Watch the tail. Watch the tail. Touchdown, Utes. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 61-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running. Sends it sailing downfield. 
Looks like they're ready for the kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Utah's looking awfully impressive right now in defense. But we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's on the run. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. There are three quarters remaining. Utah's lead is a touchdown. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He fights forward to about the 33. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's into the open field. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. the middle for a nice game. Gaining four yards. That makes it seven and six. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Fires that quickly incomplete. to about the 47 yard line. He punts. No, he won't. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Four down, four down. Seven's a Mike. Mike seven. Go, go. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And they'll run him again. Nice run there as they work the outside. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Here we go. Pressure got to him and he put it on the ground. They'll drop him for a loss. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. This is the 11th play of this drive. Around the 11 yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 11 yard line. Four down, four down. Seven's a mic. Set. Red hot. Zips it to the tight end, and he tackles him hard at the 10-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Hey. 
It's second and nine. Ten yards to the end zone. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. This is the 14th play of this drive. He gets out to about the 12 yard line. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Utah holds a four-point lead. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. plays like this and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. Nice run there. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. He scrambled. And he's going to come up with a sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. And don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He might not be able to get the pass off. They'll make the sack. So the sack makes this a second and long. hit out of bounds around the 24 yard line great game in the works folks as we come to the end of the first half 7-3 Utah we played 30 minutes glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So 
They got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Caught with room to work. He's taken down at the 30. Number 25 on the tackle at the 30-yard line. That brings up second and five. Second and five, ball on the 30. And some daylight. Makes it out to about the 43. Call it a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike seven, Mike seven. All day, all day. All day. Throws complete, he stopped immediately. They got four yards on that one. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. down and they need to get it inside the 47. He really got a hold of that one. He takes it at the 12. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Utah is up by four. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. Throws this one away. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Complete brought down. Nothing doing. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Tackled for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Makes the catch 
and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Loss of three. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. He fights forward to about the 36. They'll spread the field with five wide. Kill it, motion me out. Fires it out. Touchdown, Utah! This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Utah is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill when they can attack this off. Little handoff. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Game in by the That brings him second and five. From their own 30-yard line, second down. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. That's a great tackle at the 19. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. Taken down right around the 40. Gain of three on the way. That'll make it second and seven. Go! Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. He's got an opening inside the 10. Touchdown, Utes. Once this kid gets into the open field, you're not going to catch him. You know, some of his critics say that all he has is track speed. Well, let me tell you, speed is speed, as we just saw right there. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 64-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 21-3. Looks like they're ready for the kick. 
He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Brought down at the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, False start offense. offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch down. is going to be enough to draw the flag. They get to the quarterback, and now the ball is loose. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. There he goes. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds at the 49-yard line. We played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. The Utes with an 18-point cushion. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's tackled right around midfield. From midfield, first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. That'll be a first down on the three-yard pass. Since he only needed a few yards, the little dump-off pass worked to perfection. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. Catches it, and he's punished. Here's the eighth play of the series. There's a strike complete. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 14-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's first and 10. Ball on the 14-yard line. Watch the slip. Watch the slip. Come on, guys. Daylight. Touchdown, Horn Frogs! He kept it himself and created the whole thing with his feet. Boy, was that fun to watch or what? And they're looking to get two points here. Come to my world! We want it! Come to my world! Mike's hot! Ah! And they won't get the two! A nine-play, 88-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Brought down at the 46. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. to his receiver. It's a fumble, and the defense picks it up. I'll tell you, when a guy as big as this lineman gets his paws on a loose ball, you can pretty much forget about it. You're not getting the ball back from him.
The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Four down, four down. Now here's the line, here's the line. Hey, hey, two, hey. Hey. Slings it, tackle around the 48-yard line. Number 11 on the tackle at the 48-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's scrambling, and they got him. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Less than three minutes in the game. Scrambling around. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. Sure, the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. So can the defense match their effort from the last drive with another takeaway? One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From the 46-yard line, second down. And he's level at the 26-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. And they make the stop at the 24-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 24-yard line. Inside the 10, and down he goes at the 8-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Touchdown, Utah! He hits the PAT. Utah is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. TCU's coaches have got to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, and the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's taken down at the 39. First down. Throws a bullet over the middle. The 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. These poor guys in the secondary look like they're still trying to catch up with him. He's gone in a heartbeat. He makes the PAT. He's tackled at the 45.
They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Watch 36, 36 the mic. Gains his way to the 30 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30 yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Watch 48. Watch 48. There you go. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. 29. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. going to do it for this one. Our final score, 28-16, Utes. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.